Feels weird, feels weird to self-vlog again. It's been a while. I'm back self-vlogging. This is probably the most stressful time of the year. And normally around this time of the year, lock in on work and YouTube and everything else, like literally doesn't matter. As you guys can tell, I haven't been consistent with the videos. Videos have been, you know, once or twice every, every, every month, I'm probably uploading like once to twice. You know, every time I come back on camera, I always tell you guys that be consistent, come back, whatever. Obviously that has not been the case. So I bought this little self vlog camera. I got the Sony, for all you camera guys that are gonna ask me, Sony ZV-E1. As you can tell, I know a lot about cameras. And then I got, for a lens, this Tamron 17 to 28. So, shout out to Sam and all the camera people that I've worked with in the past helping me out with this. Picked up the camera, I said, hey, instead of not showing you guys what happens around this fourth quarter of the year, the most busiest, stressful fourth quarter of the year, um, I'm gonna pick up a camera and show as much as possible. So I'm gonna do the complete opposite. Um, real quick, before we hop into that, something new has happened since the last video that I uploaded. Yeah, check that out. Check that out. Last video, there was obviously a pool being built. Now it's finally finished. We got the finished product here. So I haven't actually gotten this pool yet. This pool started when it was 120 degrees outside and it finished when the weather dropped this morning, it was 54 degrees. Let's just show you the drastic change from when this pool was started to when it finished. 120 degrees, 54 degrees. It's still pretty chilly right now and it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Probably around 65 right now. But with the nice little fire set up like the old, the old house, the little water features at night. If I show you guys, there's lights and everything. We got the jacuzzi over there. Look at that. Gets it going. So this is like a little table with a bench. This goes down to like seven, eight feet. Got the four pavers or step thingies. Blower, living room. Nice view from the living room. Obviously it kind of like declines. And we have the water fountain feature over there, fireplace, all that stuff. It looks really good at night. So today I actually went shopping for patio furniture and that should come in pretty soon. So nice little house update. So you might think this is king. I promise you it's not. Sit, sit. This is not King. This is Gunner. His name is Gunner. G-U-N-N-A-R. And this is obviously Myla. Myla is like 50 years old. She's made it somehow through it all. All the OG watchers know that Myla has been through a lot. Myla's been with me since day one, being harassed by other dogs, having to meet new partners and new friends and new brothers. Okay, so yeah, lately he's been doing this thing where he just throws up everywhere. And I have this new white rug that I got for this crib. And um, I mean, he's thrown up this, thrown up on this whole thing. But the other day, he threw up, and that one's that one's not coming out. I'm talking about I spent hours, days trying to clean that. And it didn't come out. I even hired a, a well-known carpet cleaning service in Houston, and it still didn't help. So yeah. So I told you guys, this is the most stressful time of the year, but also the most fruitful time of the year. From a business, oh my gosh, okay. That was great. All right, from a business perspective, you know, you're offering great product, new product, unseen product, never before, you know, worn, seen. Obviously there's a lot of restocks. We're offering these great, cool, sexy looking products with an amazing discount. No, I'm not promoing for our own Black Friday, but I am at the same time. Knock a power, Black Friday, we're doing something pretty crazy. I don't know if I should say it yet, but we're doing something pretty crazy this year. We're taking it up a notch. And we're offering, obviously, we're brand new product, brand new items that obviously have never been seen, never been launched before. But we're doing a crazy discount for everything. So these are the Lightning 2.0 shorts. Um, we brought them back in a new color and we vitalized on the shorts. So obviously this is usually a patch. We went screen print. Um, a lot of the feedback this year was to revert back to screen print. So we did that for you guys. So we did the screen print for these and screen print for those. A cute little set for the girls. I actually like this a lot. 
and I like it so much that I'm wearing it myself. So this is the male version with the IP right there. But we have the tonal drawstrings, a little shortcut, cut off feeling, gives it that real gym, rugged feeling. And then the crop jacket, cropped jacket zip up. It's super nice. It's not too heavy and it's also not too light. Perfect for the gym. It's about to start getting like cold. So um, it's perfect for the gym. So for me, I'm wearing a double XL, which is what I wear in everything, Inaka. Double XL, male version, obviously it's not cropped. Zip up, jacket, very comfortable. I wore this today, perfect day to bust it out. It was 50 to 60 degrees all day. You got the full zip, the cutoff shorts, I don't know if you can see it. You know, normally I don't like these kind of hoodies or jackets or whatever, because I don't like, like when I'm wearing something, I don't like my neck being touched. As weird as that sounds, I just don't like my neck being touched. And I don't like zippers touching me, but we did a really great job, a really great job with not letting this touch our necks and like irritate our necks. I just don't like that feeling. So we have the Inaka Power pack or stitch right here. Obviously it matches the Inaka Power logo down here. And, um, Honestly, this fit, I fuck with it. With the Chicago Lowe's. Wore this with Chicago Lowe's and it was just honestly a fire fit, super fire fit. So fun fact about this jacket, I actually just got back from LA. Cause I was with the Young LA crew. Got some content with them for this jacket that's dropping, I think November 1st. So obviously you guys can see that we have our little patch right there. You know, shout out Germer, Young LA making that possible but there's obviously a lot of other brands sour ships max um no raw dom and sebum pretty much all i know jay color hung out with him pretty cool very cold very cool dude a lot of big brands on here you know big brands really cool idea i'm not gonna spoil it for you guys but this jacket's actually very fire and it's dropping very soon and uh it was really cool to be out there hanging out with them i need to get this jacket dry clean because it stinks every jacket is numbered so i think i got 540 and there's a good amount of them so november 1st Make sure you get some and support the good cause. So one thing you guys haven't seen yet, the finished theater room. We got the four chairs, recliner, whatever. One of them actually doesn't work because they broke, fucking Amazon. We got the finished product, black walls, obviously, movie theater lights, Batman poster, custom Inaka poster by Keen Hernandez, very famous uh, tattoo artist. Very beautiful artwork by one of my uh, employees, Ricky. Kill this, randomly gave it to us. I think we're gonna put it on a shirt for Black Friday, so be on the lookout for this too. Got the full projection, 100 inches, I think. Yeah, 100 inches projection screen. We have the full popcorn machine that we've already utilized and not cleaned, which is pretty gross. And that was weeks ago. Don't judge me. The full setup in here, man. Full setup looking nice. And then we have this vacant area, which I plan to hopefully turn into like pool table. That's going down to the, the garage. That's where we have the gym. And I'll make this like an actual game room. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. There's another thing that I want to show you guys that's not a flex. It's just a problem with the house. There is a short circuit issue in this room. These lights do not stay on. So I'm gonna have to figure that out pretty soon. I'm not gonna lie, barely use this room. But first time ever having a theater and I love it. Astros are playing right now, playoff season. I was actually supposed to go to that game. Didn't go because I would much rather be at home vlogging for you guys. So don't ever say I don't love you guys. I feel like I'm giving you guys an unwarranted, unwanted house tour. But here is my messy office, which believe it or not, I spend a lot of time in. And obviously my dogs do too. I know everyone does this. Whenever, you're, whenever you leave home, you put on your uh, dog anxiety music. Day two of the vlog, 
Day two of self-vlogging, you know, I already feel like I'm back in my element. I'm wearing all black again, <clears throat> but today I'm wearing, about to go to the gym. I'm wearing some new and improved Inaka mesh shorts. Um, you can't really tell by this picture. Obviously this is a new logo, uh, embroidery. There's a split right here. These shorts, the, the mesh is just, you know, a hundred times better. Tips, everything. Not as restrictive on the waist. That was another thing with our old shorts. Very restrictive on the waist. And um, we have the Anaka logo right here as well. Um, and then I'm wearing this brand new unreleased <clears throat> Anaka Performance hoodie. Pretty sure it's dropping in November. Subtle branding, total tonal branding right here, Anaka. Um, it's actually a 3D, you know, raised. Performance Club, we getting a lot of questions about this hoodie on my stories, on my IG stories. And this hoodie's finally, I think, going to be dropping. But this is my fit. Got the Anaka hat. This has been my favorite Anaka hat lately. And then we have the Travis Scott Lowe's. Um, pretty much wear these every day. I have so many shoes, like I'll show you. They just chill there. All these shoes and your boy only rocks. These and these. And like sometimes, like when I'm feeling like crazy, I rock these. Those are probably my three favorite shoes. One, two, and three. All right, let's go to the gym. All right guys, so I feel like I haven't vlogged a gym workout in forever. So this is how I do it at this gym. Let's see if I can turn this out real quick. Had this gym for almost a year now and we still haven't, still haven't fixed the electricity situation. So there's no electricity here. It's truly a warehouse with gym equipment in it. And I come to get my sanctuary workouts. Sanctuary workout is where you have no distractions, no people around you, just you, weights, mind, body, spirit, and man, Honestly, today, so I've been I've been doing it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not change up a little bit. I'm gonna a little a little bougie. I've been going a lot of time, a lot lately, because it's just closer to my house. It's just closer to my house. This is like a 25 minute drive. Sometimes I just don't feel like making that drive. But today, I was like, you know what? The weather dropped. It's not as hot. I got this nice Anaka hoodie. Amazing quality. I'm gonna take y'all. Do a old school Charlie Coker 2019, 18, 2019, 2018, 2019, 2020. It was just me and myself. Honestly, today I don't even have a tripod. I have this. So I just got this camera yesterday and um, didn't buy a tripod. So today we're gonna be using this thing. We're gonna be getting y'all a nice little upper body workout. Yesterday I actually hit legs at lifetime. So today I'm hitting upper body at the sanctuary gym. So right now I'm doing chest, start off with some cable flies. Honestly, my chest workouts are pretty fucking like repetitive. I do the same thing every single chest workout and it's gotten me a pretty good chest. Um, start off with cable flies, work into a heavy compound movement, incline dumbbell. Um, and then I'll probably do like a, today I'll probably do, just for camera camera purposes, I'll probably do dumbbell press as well. Ugh, that sounds disgusting. And then I'll do some seated flies and then maybe some decline uh, cable flies. I don't know, honestly, I'm just gonna wing it. Yeah. 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 
All right, guys, so just wrapped up the chest workout. So trying to give you all a physique update. Wrapped up chest, started with some cable flies, incline press, flat press, seated flies, uh, push-ups, decline flies. That's pretty much it. I focused primarily strictly on chest today. Um, got a nice little pump. Honestly, today I felt pretty weak. Uh, I was going pretty crazy in the gym. I think I took only Sunday off last week. Hit legs Monday, crushed or did chest today. Tomorrow's gonna be my pull day back in buys. And then I'll probably do arms and shoulders on Friday, on Thursday, on Thursday. So here's a physique update. I don't know if this is a good angle or not, but sitting around 215, 215 pounds and a healthy 215 pounds. Um, you know, just feel good, feel natural, feel feel amazing. Uh, 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 pretty rusty, but that's where I'm sitting right now, man. 215, feeling good, feeling great. Feeling lovely. There's been a lot of shit that I've been seeing on the internet. And as someone who's been in this industry for such a long time, you know, obviously I started off with the bodybuilding side of things. Competing, 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 competed since like 2013. Finally got my pro card 2020 and I kind of pretty much retired after that. Seeing a lot of the young kids, younger than me, I'm 31. So I'm pretty, I feel like I can say this now. I'm seeing a lot of young kids, you know, come into, come into this industry and they're automatically thinking that they have to, you know, blast a certain agent or certain agents to get the physique they desire. Um, to be completely honest with you guys, obviously when it came to competing and turning pro, usage was something that was necessary. Very, very, very rare that you come across a pro bodybuilder competitor who isn't on something, to be completely honest. Um, but since competing, you know, aligning myself with a good doctor, one of the best doctors where in my area, my region, you know, doing things the healthy way, you know, trying to have kids, trying to plan for a family. One thing that I'll look back, that I look back on my career and said I wish I had it was a good doctor, good counsel, good advice, someone in my corner that told me what to do, how to do it. Um, not that I didn't have that. I'm not gonna say that I didn't have that. There's a lot of other health procedures that I could have taken, you know, just ensure that I was okay. I'm good right now. I'm not trying to say this, that I'm, I'm not good or anything like that. But, you know, there's a lot of other things that I wish I would have done throughout that process to ensure for long term. I'm saying this because if you're watching this video and you're a young kid, see my physique or you see someone else's physique and you're like, damn, he had to do all this. To be honest with you, when I was using, I barely used normal testosterone, uh, testosterone. And um, um, when it came to prep time, you know, six to eight weeks out, I hopped on mast and testosterone. That was pretty much it. Never, any, never did anything outside of that. It was strictly those two agents. And, you know, that's... Minimal compared to what you see a lot of people that are doing, like a lot of these kids today are doing things that I never even heard of and doing it in copious amounts, which is insane to me. And they're young, 21, 20, young ass kids getting on this shit. And it's just like, damn, you know, I didn't really hop on my first, you know, thing until 26, 27. So I'm saying this to say, you know, right now, professionally, medically supervised by a doctor, um, I'm in the process of trying to start a family. Do it the right way if you're gonna do it, you don't need it. So you get to my age, honestly, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, obviously, if you're trying to compete, it's a different story. But if you're trying to compete, make sure you take it seriously. Make sure you're eating right. You're doing the right things. It's not just working out and blasting steroids. It's everything else that you do in life too. You know, drinking, diet, sleep, stress levels, everything else matters. Um, and it can definitely catch up to you. I feel like I had to go on a rant about that. At a place right now where I feel so healthy, so, in control of my life, feel like I'm just like at a very good place as far as like where I'm at physique wise, like everything that, I, everything that I've always wanted to accomplish for the age that I'm at, I'm there and I feel good. And I feel like if there's one thing that's helped me get to this place is just seeking professional uh, medical supervision and um, you know, going to the right doctor to help me with these things. Blood tests, blood work, making sure that you, what you're doing is necessary. If it's not necessary, you don't need to do it. So anyways, that was a chest workout. Pretty much how my day starts. We do this, lock up the gym, and I head to work. Before y'all accuse me of lying, I, let me just not lie to y'all. But I do cardio at least five times a week, so I don't want to get on here and say, oh, I'm maintaining this, you know, somewhat lean physique by just working out and eating clean. Even though cardio is not really like a big part of why, depending on the kind of cardio you're doing, but cardio is not a big part of why you know, you can stay lean or you stay lean. Obviously, I burn the majority of my calories in my workouts, my lifting, my weightlifting. Cardio is just, for me, icing or the cherry on top. Honestly, the cherry on top because the cake is the diet. The icing, to me, is the workouts. And then the cherry is like the cardio. Woo! I love it!
the sound of that engine! It gets me round up, baby! Wow! All that good stuff. So when I'm on the go, and I don't have time to go home and cook and stuff, this is kind of what I, this is what I get daily, honestly. Um, I don't really eat the fruits. I usually just eat the eggs and the peanut butter and the little bread thing. And then for more protein, okay. For more protein, I get the egg white bites, which is just literally egg whites. Like an egg white frit frittata, is that what it's called? Frittina, frittata. And then my drink of choice, always, lately, has been the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. It's a daily for me. We got the samples in the back, Black Friday samples in the back. And I honestly am pretty pissed because I know you're gonna ask why don't the samples come to, come to their warehouse. They come to my house because I feel mentally at peace when I know that they arrive to my doorstep and I know that like there's no possibility of them being lost in the warehouse. These are very important samples that we need to shoot for this next launch that we have. This next drop is the biggest drop in Anaka history. So we can't afford to have any fuck ups. So just pulled up. Got some of the employees, some drinks. I'm gonna drop these drinks off and literally come back in my car and drive home and grab the other samples that just got to my house. And I live 30 minutes away from the warehouse. What, what did you have in mind for this screen print? Yeah. I kind of fit the vibe. I do feel like if we're trying to push people. I was, look, I was just going to say this. I was just going to say that yeah. right there. Yeah. What, what if, now look, what if we do this though? But we, we have one that's like super hard, like super, super, super hard is if you buy the subs, but you get it for free though. Pair that shit together. Like you're not really losing on the, on the shorts. Thanks. Calm before the storm. Next big drop is gonna be Black Friday. As I've said a million times in this video. So right now, the team's hustling. I think we're dropping like, I don't know, a lot of items. Hundreds of items, hundreds of brand new items, hundreds of products and items in the warehouse that need to move. So yeah, it's a pretty stressful time of the year, but we're gonna get through it. This is Vic. The guy that normally does the videos. But, uh, Usually behind the camera. Yeah. Now, uh, now, I'm in front. now you're my video. <laughs> yeah, I'm a new, uh, newly, newly announced self vlogger again. So this is Vic. You guys have never seen him before. Behind the scenes, do the do the lay flats. This is how we do our lay flats for. So all the lay flats you see on the IG and the ads and stuff like that. This is the guy that does them. Yes, sir. And this is how it's shot. Shout out Noah too. <laughs> and Noah, Noah, Donald Noah. What up? Yeah, this is actually a cool setup. Yeah, it was, uh, try it out today. Oh, y'all just did it? Yeah, put the blocks on these. So Damn. Raced up. Is that, is the pop-up on that? Oh, yeah, yeah, we pull it up. And wanna, then, uh, shit, wanna walk the, the, the viewers through that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we start with, uh, the short. Obviously, we set up everything. Have two blocks on our knee. Like, some, like, wooden blocks. Put this V-flat on top so it's white. Mm -hmm. And it's elevated. Kind of helps us out. We don't have to, like, bend over, like, yeah. on the floor. And try yeah. to, like, unfold it. Damn. Uh, these stands, got these going. I see you. And, uh, we stuffed the shorts with some uh, tissue paper. Yeah. That's hard. I see. I like what y'all got going on, man. So I feel like I haven't given y'all a tour of the warehouse lately. Obviously, this is a station. We set. We changed everything up. So this used to obviously be the gym. The gym that I worked at this morning. It was right here. We had the mirrors right here. You know, this is the view I used to have. Everything was set up here for the gym. Obviously, we outgrew this space and we had to add more space. So this is obviously now more space for product. Um, packing stations um, run smoothly with each uh, computer screen. Outflows into the UPS truck that picks up our orders daily. So the goal for Black Friday, obviously, is to push as much of all of this out um, to close out the year. Um, Black Friday is <clears throat> probably the most bittersweet month, I feel like, for every business owner. <clears throat> Bitter because, you know, the process of getting ready for it, it's never not stressful. But sweet because, <laughs> let's be real, if you're a business owner, it's a very lucrative month. Um, you get to recoup some of your losses throughout the year. Um, and it's just, it's a, it's a great way to end the year, a great feeling, great vibe. 
to end their year on. So the whole team is in here working around the clock just to make sure we're ready for that. All right, man, good morning. <clears throat> it is now 8.25 in the morning. And I wanted to show off these new tech joggers that we have dropping for Black Friday. These hoes are beautiful. Tagging, you know, packaging, always on point. You know, knock performance. You know, got that cute text, purple, purple label. It's translucent, see-through thing right here with all the features and stuff. This material, you guys can't feel it through the camera, obviously, but this material is next level. Got this Inaka emblem right here. The Velcro pockets on both sides. Um, the jawstring adjustable waistband. Um, you know, I'm a double XL for that baggy, comfy fit. These joggers are honestly amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You know, got the adjustable ends as well. Designer Robbie did his thing with these, man. Like, really did his things with these. I'm gonna put these on. Today's fit is gonna consist of these, these kicks that I got from Lex and Ant yesterday. One of the greatest gifts ever. Um, the Romero Fives. I've been wanting these for a long time. These are probably gonna be my new daily shoes. Rock these, these, I need to pick a shirt. So, in camera view, I have this unreleased Inaka T with the patch on it. Um, I don't think we're ever. Gonna, I don't think we're gonna follow through with this. I think we're actually gonna change some things. But the tech joggers. I don't know if you can see through the mirror. But these joggers, man, stretchy material, you know. I'm not really a jogger guy, I'm not gonna lie. But I was texting the design team yesterday, and I was like, you guys got me with this one because these are joggers that, are, that aren't like skin tight. I hate the skin tight joggers. They're not skin tight, they're comfortable. They don't make you feel like, you know, there's no itchiness or anything like that. They don't stick to your body and like just, I don't know. When I wear joggers, I just, when I think about joggers, I think about something that's extremely uncomfortable, but you wear it just for like fashion. When I, I like to dress for comfort and fashion, but more so, more so comfort, honestly. Now that I, as I've gotten older, comfort is definitely like the priority. So, I mean, this fit is amazing. You know, it's not too baggy. It's not too, not too tapered, not too skinny. And um, they look really good with these shoes, man. I feel like this has been a pretty good vlog. I feel like I've vlogged a good amount. Did a bunch of pumpkins with the family. Painted some pumpkins with the family. Did that last night. And uh, yeah, this is 31. <laughs> this is Charlie Coker, the family man, you know, a new phase. I feel like if you followed me from 2017 or 2015, honestly, when I was, when I was vlogging on the iPhone, I was vlogging on the iPhone, and then you followed me all the way up from 2015 to this part of my life, you know, the whole full home, family home, family man, you know, 31 year old from, it's almost been 10 years, 10 years of vlogging, 10 years of YouTube. So I was 21, 22 when I started vlogging and I was around like Christian and everyone. And now I'm 31 in a different season, a new life. And uh, life is completely different, but hey, I'm thankful. Very thankful for all y'all's support. Thankful for everyone that's continued to show me support. Even in my days and weeks and months of inconsistency, I really think that this camera is gonna get me back on track with my YouTube. And uh, yeah, I don't care if I get 3,000 views, 2,000 views, 4,000 views, the people that fuck with me in these next coming weeks with these self vlogs, I'm doing it for y'all. The OG, OG crew that'll DM me and ask me like, what's my next YouTube video? And I don't even know what to answer. So the self vlog camera was for you guys. And um, I would appreciate if you guys can comment, like, share, subscribe, and uh, tell everybody I'm back. That's gonna be it for this video. Self vlog number one. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.